Engines at maximum thrust. And lift off. Blasting humans into orbit. Still what Russia does better than anyone. Since the grounding of NASA's space shuttle program in 2011, Russia's Soyuz, unparalleled safety-wise, has been the workhorse of space travel. The International Space Station is perhaps the symbol of international cooperation in space, and it is still Russia's trusty Soyuz spacecraft which ferries cosmonauts and astronauts up to the station. But snapping at the heels of Russia's government space agency are a host of private businesses who are vying to transform and commercialize space travel. Perhaps the future of international cooperation in space is not necessarily between states anymore, but between private businesses and the national space agencies. Three, two, one, zero. Lift off at the platform. In the US, Elon Musk's SpaceX and Jeff Bezos's Blue Origin are leading the commercial space race, benefiting from the ready money of a venture capital culture and from government support. In Russia, space has long been the preserve of the state and of the national space agency Roscosmos. But that's changing slowly. Elon, he's focused more on the return, return and base of the launch vehicle of the rocket now. My focus is more on the engine. Alia Prokofieva is a partner in private aerospace group Galactica, which develops satellite, rocket and robot technologies. Her ultimate goal, to create an orbital city within the next 12 years, building on Russia's technical prowess. So would you describe yourself as the Russian Elon Musk? <laughs> I'm not Russian Elon Musk uh, because uh, we have different approaches and we have uh, uh, different visions. So I, uh, I'm, I'm I could describe myself as a Russian visionary and uh, maybe more like Russian Korolev than Elon Musk because Korolev uh, for Russia and for me personally it was the person who decided to create totally crazy new things which, which could change the world, which could make it better. So that's my ambition and my mission. Sergei Korolev was the strategist behind the Soviet space program. The man who launched the first ever cosmonaut, Yuri Gagarin, into space. Roscosmos has a wealth of problems of its own, a 30% slash to its budget just as it tries to push through a major restructuring to battle corruption and a series of failed rocket launches. We've got problems here, so a strategy to involve private developers must be created. But it's not Roscosmos' job to do that. They are responsible for manufacturing things. It's the government's job to have the national strategy, and there is none. For Roscosmos now it's quite challenging because of course they need to restructure, to restructure their minds and to restructure their approach. Uh, but uh, they, they started to move what, what is good standing on the shoulders of giants to put some entrepreneurial energy into Russia's struggling national space program. Diana Magne, CNN, Moscow.